Hey guys, take a minute to watch the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem if you're getting failed to load asset, could not load asset on your iPhone whenever you're trying to add or customize your wallpaper. So you may be pressing and trying to go ahead and customize the wallpaper on your iPhone where you press and hold and you're maybe trying to add one and it keeps on popping up with that message. Now, a couple of things you want to do. First thing is go ahead to your lock screen and of course, press and hold so you can access the edit lock screen menu and the thing i recommend is first thing is deleting existing wallpaper that you're getting that error message and to do that swipe up and then you see that trash can you can just go ahead and delete just like that and then you can follow the method to delete other ones as well i recommend is if you have a tons of wallpaper like a lot i recommend deleting a few if not more the more the better that you can kind of remove uh, the better it will be and after you have removed that go ahead and try to add the wallpaper that you're looking to add whether it's just a color picture go ahead and try that again sometimes with some of the photos it might not load correctly so you may need to pick another photo right see if that message goes away and then from there hopefully it does go away you can go ahead and add and then set it again and you should be good to go Again, the trick here is to go ahead and add another new wallpaper. You can also do this by going to your setting of your iPhone and then going to wallpaper and add a new wallpaper and follow the same exact process to the wallpaper you like to add and hopefully that message goes away. Now, if you're trying to do that and it's still not working, you want to try to do a force restart on your iPhone. So in order to do a force restart, you're going to locate the volume up and volume down button. The reason why you need to locate those is that you need to press volume up followed by volume down one after another really quick and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo appear. At that time, you'll let go of that button. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold that side button. Again, make sure it's pressing and releasing volume up followed by volume down and then hold the side button. And this is known as a force reach start which shuts down the phone completely and then reloads the code. So as you can see, I'm still pressing and I let go once I see that Apple logo appear and it's going to reload the code. So if it's a software related bug or glitch impacting your phone, it will fix that for you. And this is completely safe to do. It will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps still be safe on your iPhone. And once you're back on, go ahead and try to add the wallpaper again by either going into your setting, adding a wallpaper or directly from the lock screen where you just press and hold and then delete the existing one and then try to create the same one again using the same photo and, and hopefully it's working for you again. Now let's say you're trying this method and it still didn't work. The next thing you want to check out is to ensure that your phone has enough free space or storage available. So in the setting of your iPhone, go to general and then iPhone storage. And the important thing here to check is that you want to make sure that you have at least a couple gigs available. As you can see here, I have 128 gig. I'm using 24 gigs and I have 103 gigs available. In a scenario where this is zeroed out or very close to becoming empty, you need to go ahead and clean up or remove some stuff, especially longer format videos, photos, some apps that you don't use, maybe delete some messages and usually storage here will make some recommendation on things you can remove to free up some space but you need to free up some space so that the image or the photo that you're trying to load for your wallpaper loads up correctly now the next thing you also want to check out after you have done that and you have enough free storage is that go into if it's a photo that you're trying to add you can actually check the size of that photo so go ahead and click on the photo that you're trying to add and then if you click on that photo on your photo app and then swipe up here it will give you a size here generally with iphone wallpaper photos it has to be 25 megabytes or less as you can see here this is only 989 kilobytes but a thousand kilobytes makes one megabyte so most fo photos are smaller than that but for some reason you got maybe a really large photo size you'll have to use a different photo or have to use software to go ahead and reduce the size and you can look that up online on how to reduce the size of a photo but that size has to be less than 25 meg. Now let's say you did all of this, the size is less than 25, you have free storage, you did a forced restart, you try to add a new wallpaper and none of these work. The next thing you can do as a resort is going into doing a 
reset of all settings on your iPhone by going to your settings, go to general, go all the way down here is transfer reset iPhone, and you're going to click on reset and you're going to reset all settings. Now when you reset all settings, things like any network related settings will get reset so if you're connected to any Wi-Fi or have connected Bluetooth devices you have to reconnect again. Any custom keyboard dictionary will get reset. Any custom home screen layout will also get reset. Any location privacy will also get reset now. These are only the settings themselves. Resetting all settings will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps still will be safe on your iPhone and it's safe to do that. Just remember you'll have to readjust the settings like connecting to Wi-Fi again or anything that you have connected with the Bluetooth and any of these custom layouts that you have done. Now let's say you did all of that and still not working. The very last thing you can do is go ahead and update your phone by going to your settings, going to general software update and see if there's an update available and if there is it's going to show up here. You're going to click on update now. Now before you do click on update now give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes whenever you're doing any sort of software update for your phone to be able to successfully update it. Your phone also has to be more than 50% or charged and connected to a good Wi-Fi or cellular data. And hopefully after you did the update, your phone doesn't have that issue where the fail to load asset goes away and you can try the same exact process again where you add a new wallpaper, delete the existing one, and even do a forced restart. So I hope this video was helpful in fixing that issue. If so, please make sure to the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys and next time.